everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is angeline and i am the owner of angelic creation so welcome back to another christmas diy series so today we will be creating our very own stickers for christmas so let's go ahead and get started okay so so far i've uploaded these few images here some of these i made inside of canva and i brought over some of these down here at the bottom i did get out of cricut design space and yes this one was from Google okay so I just pulled this ornament up out of Cricut design space it was for free so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text I'm gonna go over here click on text and I'm just gonna type in Mary three times and now I'm gonna go over here to the wrap feature here that Cricut has and I'm gonna choose one of these new features that they have. I wanna just play around with a few to see if I like how it looks. Let me bring this over so you all can see at the same time when it changes. Um, let's see if I like, oh, this one's cute. I like, I think I kinda, uh, kinda sorta like it, but not too much. Let's continue. Let's see. Um, maybe something like this okay yeah I can yeah this would be cute so of course I'm going to minimize it by grabbing over that corner and just bring it in to make sure it fits inside of the ornament perfectly like so okay so I'm going to go up here and make sure that I change this to a um, a print and cut and I'm also going to go over here to the color panel and I'm going to change the color to red. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and cover both pieces together. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make sure that I group them. Not group, I'm sorry. I'm not going to group them. Let me go back. I'm going to attach. Okay, and as you can see, all of these have like a white outline. So what I'm going to do for this one is do the same thing. I'm going to go up here to offset. I'm going to click on the curve here. Yep, exactly how it happened. But I'm going to minimize the offset just a little bit. And as you can see, it did change. I'm going to hit apply. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and change this to white. And no, we cannot see it because our background is white. And I usually change my background, but I want to go ahead and flatten this so that I can see. Okay, now you can see. All right. Okay, so I did go ahead and I made this rectangle shape. As you all can see, I want to let you all know why I made a rectangle shape. So this will be the appropriate measurements, which is here. So that Cricut design space would not shift over my stickers. I want them to be laid out exactly how I want them to be laid out, okay? Okay, so now that I have my whole rectangle filled, I can go ahead and remove this square. And then we're just going to go ahead and send this over to make. And you will see how it's going to lay out. Okay, now here we go. Here's all of our stickers. Of course, you can't see the white outline because the background is white. But we're going to go ahead and send this over to the printer and then we're going to allow our Cricut machine to cut. Okay guys, so my stickers have printed out and I don't know about you all that have a Cricut machine, but sometimes my machine would not recognize my registration marks. So, of course, I'm in like a thousand groups on Facebook and one of those groups, she said she used a black Sharpie mark. And guess what guys? It works for me every time. My mat has been placed down. I'm gonna go over here and click on this arrow that is blinking and then next the little cricket light will blink as well. And then this will start the cutting process and it will go on to read the registration marks first and then it will begin to cut. So right now we're in the process of registering um, the, the marks. So they knew exactly where to cut. So, our machine is done cutting out the stickers and this is how they turned out really cute nice I love them and this one right here is my favorite great better have my cookies I think that it's just so cute 
Okay, so the next time I make some stickers, I am definitely going to make them a bit smaller because I believe that I can fit a little bit more on here. And like, look at the little gap right here. I can fit some, i probably make this a little smaller, make this a little smaller. So yeah, fit as many as you can on a sheet. All right, guys, but that is the end of the video. I hope that it was easy to follow along. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the uh, comment section below. Oh, and if I didn't say the brand, this is by Koala, and I purchased this off of Amazon. If it's still on there, I did this probably about, last, I think, last year sometime, and there's a lot of stickers in there, and I don't really do stickers as much, but so I still had a lot of sheets left, and this is, uh, I think it's called Digital Label. But it is definitely by Koala. I don't think you all will be able to see it. That's why I didn't want to show. But yeah, I'll link it. If I can find it on Amazon, I will attach it to this video. Okay? All right, guys. And as always, stay tuned because we have plenty of more videos coming soon. Until next time.